Hello all you wonderful people and welcome to Eindhoven country where we have a 2v2 in the brew here. Let's uh, see who our players are. If we take a look at the allies here, Kyra Rang playing as the USF having locked in infantry company and his partner in crime, Evalance playing as the Soviet Union. And they are up against double OKW here. Uh, let's see. Koskan. I think it's pronounced that way. I hope. <laughs> and Zetana. Also playing as GOKW. Um, Axis team not yet locked in their commanders, but they are bringing with them Luftwaffels, Elite Armor, Overwatch. Meanwhile, Berkoskan, he's got also Luftwaffels, Special Operations, and Elite Armor. So there's potential for double Sturm Tiger there. <clears throat> now, Anything special regarding the bulletins? Grenades can be thrown further. The cis gun, better at penetrating. Cheaper medical supplies. And the Kubelwagen drives faster. And then the suppression received for the Volksgrenadier is lower. So there's that from our players here. Uh, first gunshot here. The Kubelwagen, you know, taking um, and a good engagement for it. It's uh, keeping this occupied. Oh, we even got this Kubelwagen here, but that drove a little too close to, well, the fire. It took a lot of damage there. Luckily, to Kubelwagen, they don't bleed. They just need a little touch-up, and then they're good to go. But this Kubelwagen needs to get out. <clears throat> yeah, you are infuriating me. <clears throat> well... Kubelwagen here, done harassing these troops. Did, uh, yeah, did do a little bit of this squad here, another fresh squad. But the Kubelwagen is coming in here, poking its HMG into places where the Allies feel it shouldn't belong. Just doing a little bit of chip damage, but uh, just outside of range now. There we go, chipping up a little further here. Almost up to that one. Meanwhile, let's take a look at his uh, teammates, Kubelwagen here. Yeah, it did take quite a beating, so not quite the same amount. Riflemen doing most of the damage up close here, but there's just so much fire coming in on them here. They cannot survive, and the Kubelwagen is giving chase here. Don't think he'll be able to get him, though. Uh, okay, more riflemen coming in here. Also, sandbags, thanks to the uh, passive ability here. Comes in very handy. Well, well, well. The map is about to be equally divided here. Allies just capping um, their high munition point here. And now it's just, you know, fighting for the middle. <laughs> for the next 40 minutes or so. Oh. A little mine. Yeah, okay. Volksgrenadiers stepped on that one as they approached the fuel point. But let's see. Evalanche is closing in on him here. Got three conscript squads chasing away that um, Volksgrenadiers. The Kubelwagen trying to do some heroics here as he covers the retreat for the Volksgrenadiers, drawing fire from the conscripts as the rest of the troops are coming up here to deal with the conscripts. Also, early grenades uh, from Evalanche that also should help against the Kubelwagen should it come within range. Of a good old-fashioned AT grenade here. Uh, Satana not really reacting there. Aid one of them, but the Kubelwagen is still going. Though with engine damage, of course. Oh, will they actually benefit from that green cover, or is it placed too close? Uh, they can benefit a little bit from it. Right, what do we have here? Cutoff point taken. Kyrrong is trying to stop it with Evalanche shooting the Volks in the back. Oh yeah, a decap was all that it uh, assembled to, or amounted to. Meanwhile, Kyrrong here is making a um, line towards the, the fuel here and not bothering with any cutoffs. Nope, going straight for gold. Ay ay ay, Satana got a little bit of a forward HQ out there. I wonder if uh, Kyrvarong will be able to punish that with his priests. They are very good at um, destroying OKW in forward emplacements. Right, Kyrvarong got the fuel. 
but he's looking at some stern pioneers on the retreat path here but he spotted it in time and you know called in the retreat and the axes are happy to get their fuel back into their hands in fact the axes they need the fuel so they're going for more also kubelwagen here who need wire cutters when you got a kubelwagen easy peasy pure rubber wrong calling out his half track also weapons will be airlifted onto the battlefield we see that we have captain tech for Kura wrong here allowing him to you know get out um, his um 80 guns and of course let's just see it should be yeah he can also go for the AA half track but i suspect he won't go for that now that he has already invested some fuel into a mortar half track here so probably doesn't want to delay his um his medium tank any more than he has to also back was gun he's also sitting up quite well not quite forward but a little bit forward and look at this Everlands airborne guards coming onto the field also being given their PPSH assault package hmm so they'll be uh, quite useful when uh, we're talking about close combat here middle being captured fuel is looking to go into allies hands once again but at the moment it's the okw players here there it seems to be dominating on the battlefield in terms of uh, territory held he just needs to get this point back into his uh, territory right kubelwagen is just coming out there help hilfe i need repairs Right on, guards here coming up close, personal. But Volksgrenadiers got out their new toys just in time. But PPSH did you just a ton of close. Right, returning the favor, one grenade. Oh, that was a powerful one. Almost got a wipe there. Oh, what is this? We're getting double leaks for Satana. Hmm. Well, that ought to be able to do a little bit of <laughs> return fire as Kyoto Rurong is really going in on his mortars here. Oh, direct hit from a leak since uh, this mortar half track here down to half health. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Something just exploded. Yeah, Kubelwagen lost for uh, Satana. Hmm, not the biggest loss, but everything counts in large amounts speaking of losses Everlands here is about to take one nope the lone conscript made it back safely and he will be reinforced and perhaps even healed do we have healing yes we got healing for all the peeps here on the map friendly fire guys friendly fire Come on, step it up. Work on that aim. These are the bad boys. Well. These leaks. Let's just check in. Not a kill yet. Well, okay. One kill in total. <laughs> oh, Kyoto Rung here. Also taking advantage of his uh, passive ability here. Allowing him to get the light machine guns. Very powerful uh, stuff when um, talking about long range here. Like the um, LMGs for um, Axis, they also do the most damage at a long range. Let's see, we got special operations locked in, Storm Officer on the field here. He'll be able to uh, target them, you know. Units will focus fire on specific targets, shooting to kill enemies. Units effective are easier to hit. And of course, the force retreat ability. Very annoying stuff. Guards once again up close and personal here, shredding the Volks. But they did take a couple of losses, they themselves. Grenade! We got a little bit hot there. SVT rifles. 
are also gunning down these cons. They were left alone out here with no help. So back to base they go. Also, Satana here trying to catch these rear echelons on the retreat path. But is it gonna be a wipe? I don't think so, as they are quite healthy, the two remaining models. And whoa, can you get back in there? And surprisingly, Kuro Rurong is really in investing a lot of fuel into these mortars here. I wonder if it'll come back to him and, uh, you know, bite him in the butt. Hmm. We haven't seen the uh, OKW players go for any fuel vehicles so uh oh yeah the timing on the, the medium armor for um the okw will definitely be in their favor especially versus cure wrong uh unless the map is starting to shift a bit so the allies seems to be um getting the majority of the resources fuel is actually quite even at the moment but allies do have the most munition in calm. Oh, even a little of fuel cash going up there. Looking to uh, play catch up, perhaps. How many kills have these mortars gotten here? Two, three, okay, five in total. Uh, and the leaks here, well, they're not having the best of days here. Uh, I suspect that these mortars here are just, yeah, blowing them to bits. Two versus three, not really a fair matchup. And one of them, yeah, the weapon crew can bleed, the vehicles, they cannot. However, once they're dead, they're dead. Cannot reinforce them. Let's see here, captain on the field. I don't spot an LMG on them, nope. Only the bar. Also, look at this defensive position here from Satana. Got up some green cover, even utilizing some of that natural green cover. Real Satana. It's got the panzerization locked in. Let's check in with his mate here. Yeah. And in about a minute, we'll have fuel and presumably manpower to get out those medium tanks. And when they hit the field, let's see how well prepared the allies are. They are not prepared. They have no AT on the ground. <clears throat> well, let's just have a look back in base here. Well, players, they can call in um, AT guns. Everlands, he's also getting quite close to getting out a medium tank. Hidden Werfer is already out for uh, Bekos Khan. Let's see, officer here, he's just leading the charge along with his men. Kurobrong is, in fact, in full retreat. He does have his um, mortar half tracks here, trying to, you know, get a couple of models uh, dead, but uh, not having the most of luck hitting uh, the moving, t moving targets. <laughs> Which uh, is a no-brainer. <laughs> They're best versus stationary targets. Weapon teams. Oh, just like that. Stationary targets. Rip. We lost a uh, Volksgrenadier there from Bekoskan. Trying to salvage uh, what was lost there. Back it is. Recycling. Very important. Medium tank on the way now for both OKW players here. Whoa, and Everlands, he is going for a Katusha. Hmm. And with no AG on the field, it is vulnerable to a dive. Oh, takedown. Bekos Khan is uh, apparently AFK or something. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but... Ah, two Volksgrenadier losses in a short amount of time. Yeah, that's not going to do him any favors in the late game. It's not like Popcap is an issue for him at the moment. 
Right, let's check in. Leagues have been recruited, and of course, Veteran C has been reset. Kurong, he does have enough manpower to get out um, an AT gun. He's just got the Major, has hit the field there. Hmm, but he's still a couple of minutes away from getting out a, um, a Sherman. Even longer if he wants a Jackson. Motor half tracks up to at least 10 kills. Oh, 15 kills. They've actually been doing work, but now they might pay for their lack of AT as the Panzer IV is hunting. Whoo, that Katusha doesn't appear to have fired yet, but he is making a beeline towards the enemy base. Let's uh, see what he can see. Okay, he cannot see any of the, the vehicles that he was um, hunting for. Oh, can he get the major here? That would, would be an option. They're coming out here, the riflemen. Oh, what a shot! Yeah, anti-tank grenade applied. One more needed to get some engine damage going. Wow, seven kills! Whew, that's a deadly P4. And it's gonna be even deadlier once he gets the Panzer Commander upgrade. And now, Kyurong. Oh, this has been spotted. Lost and rifleman. It's just dead. One more shot is needed. Oh, a miss even. Well, he was moving and now the AT gun is there, but Satana's P4 might be swinging around, coming in for another kill. And I was thinking about the fuel cast, not the captain. Hold fire. Fire. Job well done. Fuel cash down. 250 manpower lost. For Kyura Rung, and that was quite a long shot. Fortunately, it didn't hit any of these vulnerable mortar half tracks. And ambulance getting back into position now. A little bit of AT. Let's see. Evelance also has got out a SIS gun here. And. Oh, yeah. Bebos gun. He hasn't really. He didn't dive with his um, base dive with his uh, P4, but it has definitely been keeping busy as it's already up to eight killed and counting. Though it might go down here if it's pathing fucks it over. One more shot. Oh yeah. And that's your cue to leave. A little bit of smoke there being deployed. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. Who ordered all the smoke and why? Fire in the hole. Was it these? Yeah, okay. Satana with the smoke there. Doesn't block the mortars for firing, but <laughs> still allows him to get up a little closer without taking so shots. Um, Pakistan, Earth to Pakistan, retreat! Oh my! That's the third Volkskrieg idea he lost like that. Real sloppy on the retreat. Uh, let's uh, follow his camera. Oh! What a nasty uh, angle here. There we go. He should do a little backspace. Allow him to get a better angle so he can better watch, you know, uh, further ahead. Uh, he had his camera sort of up here, not down there. Uh, here's a little tip. Um, just press backspace 1 to restore the camera angle back to its original um, pan not really height but uh, you get the idea not really angle because he had it at a different angle but since he had turned it around 180 degrees oh shot hit we got a shot in on the mortar Oh, and another one coming in there. Yeah, or oh, even the small arms fire. Here comes the Panzerfaust. Trying to re retreat. He is crawling back. We're gonna see another Panzerfaust. No, he's out of range though. And now we're getting a Kuro Rong's um, Sherman. Evalance, how's it looking? His Katusha is doing fine, alive and well though. Got its first kill. Meanwhile, 
Pekos Khan there. He had enough of his false grenadiers. Mm -mm, go away. Not good enough. I want Obers. Also, Satana having locked in Elite Armor Doctrine here. Of course, allowing him to get the Panzer Command upgrade. But I wonder, will we see the Sturm Tiger on the field here? Evalanche is certainly ready for it. He is getting out an issue 85. No, Satana, he is going for some of his own AT at the moment. Let's see. While his buddy has not unlocked the, um, the last truck needed to get uh, his walking Stukas onto the field here. Oh, this is bad. Engine damage. And the Sis gun. One more shot. We're getting an AT grenade in. Well, make that two. Turret down. And the Sis gun is giving chase here. We got another AT grenade. Soon. Nope, not going for it. Oh, lost that leak. Uh, um, yeah, what can I say about the leaks? I... Eh, haven't really been doing a whole awful lot now, have they? Anywho. Man, that's a lot of Obersoldaten here. Even the uh, officer here, his uh, retinue consists of Obersoldaten as well. <laughs> Raketen with there. Flew a little too close to the sun. Dead and gone. But not forgotten, at least not yet. Oh, yes. Shotgun! Katusha! Got a little bit of kills there, but not... Uh, no wipes, though. This... <laughs> These guys here have been popping uh, mortars, like, for days now. They do need repairs, however. They won't uh, survive much long against the Panzer IV. Far away. Is it gonna hit here? Oh, baby! Just as they were repairing, one mortar half track down. Two to go. Kapong! Let's see. P4 got a couple of kills there as well. Hello, nurse! Command tank is on the field here, going toe to toe with the SU 85. <laughs> and the crew, they're scrambling, trying to get the, the last repairs in on the, their vehicles. One motor half track is done. Sherman still needs the final touch up. What's going on over here? That's just, just the P4 hunting some poor rear echelons, which uh, has been gaining most of their veterancy through damage taken, not damage dealt, <laughs> apparently. Hmm. At veteran C2 achieved. Neat. Anyway, Major here. Just falling back. The Major will, in the upcoming patch, um, receive a uh, side bonus at some point. I think maybe at Vet Free. I'm not sure, but there's definitely some side upgrades uh, buffs coming in for the Major in the patch that is currently in the works. Right, quick look at the VPs revealed that uh, the Allies are almost down to half of their VPs, while um, the Axes are still sitting pretty at 352. Oh, that's a good grenade there. Lost another one. <laughs> that was... Well, I actually don't know what we lost there, I'm not sure, as Bekos Khan's infantry um, unit preservation is... Lacking. Or was it uh, Satana that lost the Volskur and idea there? Ah. Oh well. War, people die at a much faster rate than compared to normal civilian peacetime. Double AT guns are now out for Kyoto Rung here. He does have um, the resources to call in the, the priest, but. Could probably benefit from another tank like a Jackson. Right on, the armor here is pushing through. Oh, dangerously close here to the Allies' uh, repair position. Going a little bit of tango there. 
T34 has been spotted. Oh, S85 chipping in with a little bit of damage. But, oh, look at this. Can we get some fire on these boys here? They're certainly trying, but the model that was about to throw it at the first time, he just got shot dead. And now we're seeing another Sherman coming out. Hmm. And they are indeed on armor piercing rounds at the moment here. Which makes them somewhat effective against uh, medium armor. Rip had a little bit of a uh, sort of base inspection here. P4 just go got in there, took care of one of the mortar half tracks. In fact, if no, he still got one of them alive. Two hundred points, still going down here. Looks like uh, the Overcommando Vest is showing off their skills here at crushing the Allies. More armor arriving onto the field here for Kuro Rung. Avalanche also got a little bit, yeah. The T-34 must have lost one of them. Didn't he have two of them at one point? There's the dead P-4, also dead and gone there, lost by Bekos Khan. Probably traded one of his T-34s for that one. Mortar. Well, it's the green guy that survived all the onslaught there. So now he has to uh, live up to his predecessors. Ah, Bagos Khan. Lost his um, command panther there, but you're wrong. He lost uh, some of his infantry. He is looking to, you know, replace <laughs> said infantry, but he has lost all of his uh, officers. The captain is gone. The major is gone. I'm a piercing rounds here. A little bit of a fun fact. Up close, the uh, Sherman here with armor piercing rounds has a higher penetration value than a uh, p4 but only up close oof rip in mm, yeah ag gun destroyed well decrewed but not yet destroyed let's see he may have a chance here he's running for it he does not have the option to sprint. One more shot is needed, and it's dead. Gone. It's not looking too good now for the Allies, is it? Even getting caught there in the firing arc of that HMG. Everlands retreating his unit, allowing his... Uh, Katusha here to get some sight on the HMG. But... No cigar, what's that? Oh! Delayed fuse from the mortar. Got a kill though. Didn't quite get the wipe. But good attempt, nevertheless. G34 just trying to deal with some of this infantry here. SU85, good to go. Ready to knock back the Axis armor. Speaking of which, we got a brand spanking new Command Panther. And Satana, well, he's just rocking that lone P4. And has gone for some heavy artillery here. But Bekos Khan's army is has diminished a bit. Uh, let's see if the allies can capitalize on that with their uh, armor. You know, push back his infantry, bully his one and only tank. Bombs away! Looks like everybody is alive. Just needs to get the uh, Sherman here fixed and with these many crew members here, that ought to be done in record time. Well, maybe not. Oh, out again. <laughs> I don't know if Kuro Rung is feeling a bit stressed there. Seeing a little bit of micro mistakes happening. Right, SU-85 here, not in a position to deal with the Command Panther. Oh, here's the ram a lam -a ding dong followed up by an airstrike. And that should make it uh, possible for the SU-85 to take out the command panther here. Good play by Everlands. He's got his infantry here to get the Rakettenwerfer away. Even got it decrewed, but here comes the Obersoldaten. 
They are ready to defend the soon-to-be wreckage of uh, the uh, Rakuten Warfare. One more shot needed. Over to Darden. With the bundle grenade. Ah, uh, miss. Ooh, even using the STGs here, making them quite powerful at um, medium short range. Katusha firing, looking to delete these squads here. But nope, they just step to the side and outside of the firing range. Double Katushas even here. Hmm, very um, artillery heavy game that we see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And now, Bekos Khan, he's left without any armor. And this could be a turning point for the allies. Kurong also now getting out his... Sh Jackson. Any uh, armor on the way here? Yeah, we got a panther. And it's parked. Nicely in the base. Yep. Nice. Might even receive a parking ticket if it remains there for too long. Back at the action here, the P4 is trying to escape the Shermans. They are on the prowl. Yo, yes. Took one down there. Engine damage, but I don't think there will any follow-up. Yeah, the Panther is just too far off. All, both of them up to Vet 1. Benefiting now from the uh, radio net veterancy bonus here. Allowing them to reload faster and... As it has stopped there to fire, the Panther has now caught off. We do see high explosive anti-tank shells here doing extra damage. What's happening? Sherman down. Jackson now on the field here looking. Oh, yeah. Panther is down here. The allies may just yet turn this around as Satana got a... Inf infrared half track out here it's not going to do anything versus the sherman but on the other side cure wrong his his infantry core is non-existent satana he did lose his his uh some pioneers there luckily he had two or was it because Khan? because Khan is left with almost nothing but Kyurarong, he's... Yeah, Bekos Khan, he's got nothing. Kyurarong, barely got any infantry. He is looking to replace it. Uh, Everlesson, yeah, okay. Getting some more army on the field. Exchange of grenades there. One goes boom, the others just stun you. Dead they are, and that's the last of the... Of the uh, Sturm Pioneers. They're dead, Jim. What? League got a rear shot in on the, <laughs> on the Sherman there. Also switched over to um, high explosive shells as there's not any medium armor out now for uh, neither OKW players. And right now, the allies got the OKW by... Um, by the pineapples! <laughs> oh yes, more squads being lost there for Zetana. Uh, Bakas Khan, he's almost good to go when it comes to getting out his... Um, his Command Panther. Third time is the charm, as they say. Roughly a minute and then he should have enough fuel. Meanwhile, his infantry... He's about to lose his uh, storm officer there. Oh, this is not going to do anything. Just might as well retreat it. Or... Nah. Okay, got one shot in, but don't think that's uh, any success that he can follow up. Um, Sturm Pioneers, back at it. Let's see, we got the uh, walking Stukas here ready to do some more damage. Wiping more squads here. Where does it go? Well, that's a miss. Oh. 
We're going in. Dive, dive, dive. Take down the uh, walking Stuka. Oh, is this spotted up here? I do not know, but it looks like the Sherman is about to get out. We do see the delayed fuse taking out the HMG. Kettenwerfer here trying to catch the Sherman, but by the looks of it, it's not going to happen. Instead, he found the SU-85 here that took out the infrared half drag. Nice. <laughs> not good enough to take out the Sherman. The Sherman is still alive and well. Kura wrong here, looking to get out another Sherman. Tatana. Well, he could call in another P4 to help uh, deal out with um, the Allies' armor here. But what is he going for? Is he really gunning for the Sturm Tiger? I think that could be a mistake. Looking at a potential squad wipe here. Even using the force retreat back to base, Hugo. Allowing um, Bakoskan officer here to cap the middle. At least without getting harassed by infantry. Now this, on the other hand, uh, that's a whole other story. Getting for trying to get up close and personal here. Trying to deal some damage. But yeah, that half track is long gone. Meanwhile, the Sherman here has left on the field with no support we got a command panther out here let's see what it can do it is of course up against a uh, jackson that is looming in the in the back there oh mark target couple of shots more and then it's dead one shot needed command panther going in the plane is there or is it not no it's not but still takes it out nicely done Looking like a wipe here, a D crew. Oh, this could be fatal here. The Raketmorfer got a good shot in, but look at this. The Sherman trying to get in behind, but is on high explosive shells. Can't do anything versus the Panther. Needs to uh, switch ammo if it needs a chance. But sticks on the high explosive shells here. Uh, rescue is coming in here. The Command Panther is down to Tana. He's getting out of Panther, that's where his fuel resources went. Oh, almost took out the entire crew there. Only got one of the crew members. Free is enough to operate the, the tank destroyer. Now, Bekaskan here, losing his one and only uh, Obersoldaten squad here. And they are uh, on a crash course to uh, getting below 100 points. Fire alert! Fire alert! Let's see. Do we have mechanics? They are on their way. This panther here is ready to tango. Misses, however. That's a lot of conscripts sitting on the middle VP now. Fire them, AT grenades. Yeah, a lot of engine damage coming in there. Limited in mobility. Meanwhile, the Panzer forces have certainly grown since last we checked in on Evalence. And these Opus are just getting wrecked there. The League. Oh, it's actually starting to drop some models there. Nine kills. <clears throat> Standing by. Send orders. Nex is just trying to get their um, armor repaired here and then they are triple capped and with that little infantry that they have left yeah look at this <sighs> they're sending out weapon teams but okay now Wolf's Grenadier squad is joining them Mile over here we got a fresh storm officer on the field Ready to fight for the fatherland and hopefully get some VPs under their controls. Now, Everlands is going for a third Katusha. Wow. What a time to be infantry on the uh, OKW team. <laughs> Double T-34s here. 
up against a lone command panther. Well, I wouldn't really call the storm officer support. <laughs> Fighters coming in here. Oh, right on. It's going down. Even cure wrong follow up with the timed artillery here. Another ramalam and Ingnong coming in there. Where's the Jackson? Jackson is on site. Helping out. Oh, yeah. Takes thing out the Panther. Dead and gone. The Svera Panzer headquarters providing a little bit of cover here. And that's game. <sighs> Started out strong for the Oba Commander Vest players, but in the end, they just couldn't keep up the steam. And they throw in the towel. Well, hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Like and subscribe if you want more. Dislike the video if you dislike it. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.